So I wanted to say a few things as an introduction. Um, in light of the fact of what uh, we went through recently in this country, because it's obvious there are many difficulties that many people have been experiencing. People are happy and celebrating what happened. Some people are scared and or angry or or were hurt by it, so it's a big division in the country. I imagine our school has some of that division. The, the reactions are not just in this country, in the world as a whole. So, um, so how do we relate to all of that from the perspective of the teaching? The principle that we need to remember is that of being in the world and not of it. We are in the world. We live in this world. With all that happens in it, we live our life, we express ourselves. We have our own individual uh, concerns and um, life situations and um, so because of that we do need to address our uh, life situations and whichever way feels right to us whichever way the truth expresses itself to us but the important thing is not to forget we are not of it. We are beyond this world and everything that happens in it. Our nature, all the work we've been doing is to find our being as beyond the exigencies, beyond the occurrences, the particular occurrences that happen. So it's an interesting balance that we need, all of us need a situation like this, and I'm mentioning the situation because it is universal, not just to one person or another, it touches not everybody in this country, but many people around the world, and our groups are around the world. So to remember that what we are, we are beyond the world, the gas, what happens, our essential nature is Nothing happens to it. We continue to be the beautiful, immaculate goodness, whatever we are. And how that comes through us individually is how we express that in the world. And everybody is different. Different people have different orientations and different... Um, uh, Expressions, different activities, different action that they might feel they want to take, or different attitude they have. So, the fact that we are beyond it, we are not of it, the not of it also unifies us. We are all one, and that inherently in the unity. How that unity then expresses itself through us individually, is very important. So, as individuals who have been practicing and learning and knowing our true natures, we need to remember to both to be grounded in that, not forget, not forget the stability and the, uh, the support and inner peacefulness, but also how to that will manifest in, in our life situation, whether it's our particular situation or it's a national situation or it is an international situation.
So we need to bring in the fact that we are beyond this world, into this world, to deal with uh, whatever the situation is, whether we're feeling wonderful or we're feeling terrible. But uh, the situation... Um, So I wanted to say that, and then because there has been, continues to be a great deal of opposition and differences and negativities and, um, and uh, divisions, we will begin our first meditation, which is the Hu chant and dedicated to the well-being of everybody, not just in this country, in the whole world, beings everywhere, as we usually do, but to remember the latest situation where there is still a lot of difficulties and might continue to be for some time. Of course, there are other parts of the world who have worse difficulties and have been having them for a while, wars and killings and all that. You know, so we need to remember that and put things in perspective. And um, so we'll, our first chant, chanting who, from the place of who, from the place that is not of this world, expressing it and uh, our voice which brings it into this world, bringing the blessings from beyond to the situation here and now. Both for our own, to feel our uh, uh, integrity and wholeness within ourselves and to help bring to uh, uh, to dedicate it to the healing and wholeness and uh, um, well-being of all people here and everywhere.